Hey, I'm way up, could never be under you. And I never move like a sucker do. Came out the mud and it wasn't because of you. Look at my stats, I got too many W. W, 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 W. I got way too many W. Came out the mud and it wasn't because of you. W, 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 W. We are here, we are in the north of Brazil, Taiba, um, the last event of the year for the GKA. I have been here for quite some time already, training, focusing, uh, yeah, basically just getting ready for the comp. Well, last year I won my first world title and, and I think it was a lot more stressful. Um, I'm kind of in a very similar mindset right now and I'm not really focusing on the world title. Everyone is telling me I can win, blah, 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 but you know, I'm here to win this event. You know, I want to win this event, I want to do really well and then if I win, it's going to happen, so. Been here, I've been in a really good routine, feeling really good, you know, the conditions, I really like the conditions here for, for me, for my riding, it's, it's a lot like where I grew up. So I feel really comfortable here, you know. A lot of guys are telling me about their problems they're having with the spot and you know, I can't really relate to them, so I'm feeling really good. Yeah, mixing it up, doing freestyle, riding waves, you know, doing some passes, some kite loops, whatever I need to do, and just, just so, you know, I feel really well-rounded going to this event and, and, you know, as complete as I can be. Yeah, n no, I would say I, I should train more freestyle for a comp to feel really good because if I feel confident in my freestyle, I'm already confident in my waves, you know, especially here with a spot you can do anything you want on the wave. It's totally up to you, you know, you have to make the wave look good. My confidence kind of comes from doing what I'm bad at. You know, and I'm not saying I'm bad at free, start up with freestyle, but it's, it's what I'm not as comfortable in. So if I feel comfortable in that, then I'm good. I'm not really stressed, but I'm super, super excited, super ready to go, you know. It's, I have a huge hunger for this event. Yeah, just feel really ready. Yeah, so, so boards wise, I mean, if it's, if it's freestyle, the, the Vogue SLS is, is my go-to for, for freestyle. If it's, if it's anything to do with freestyle, you know, can pop hard and land faster, it just works much better for me. Waves wise, I've actually been experimenting. I started experimenting in Morocco with the 5.3 whip. This has been my go-to, the uh, blue traction on it. And this uh, five mil pad we have from Duotona, Texas, super nice, really loving it. It is a 5.3 whip uh, SLS with my large clobbers on the side and my medium in the back. Um, it's really helping me here. You know, it has a lot of grip with these two big fins on the side and then a lot of release on the top. Yeah, I mean, this is my favorite board at the moment. I've really been loving it. Um, not much more I can say. We should get one. <laughs> really good. And yeah, kites wise, I've been loving my D-Lab. My 10 meter D-Lab here is every single day. Um, if it's light, if it's windy or whatever, I'm on that kite. Um, and yeah, the D-Lab in these conditions is, is insane. You know, it never falls out of the sky. You kind of, it's cross on shore, so it's really hard to drift the kite. But, you know, if you keep moving this thing, it doesn't, it's always drifting. It's, you have a lot of power, you know, it just opens your possibilities. You have a lot more, you know, depth to the chances you can take. I like to ride a medium bar, 22 meter lines. I take the extensions off. A low V, hard setting on my kites. That's about it, nothing special. Wind looks light. I might be on my 10. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go kite. Apparently there's been some good waves. I was uh, taking it easy, fixing up my hair, getting ready for the comp, and go extra fast.
Feeling good. Good session. Feeling fucking good. Ready for war. And welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour Kite Surfing Discipline, the season finale here in Brazil, Taiba. Just look at that image. The waves are here, the wind is here, the sun is shining, and this is beautiful Brazil. Looking fully confident, and it looks like you're feeling great. Yeah, no, I'm feeling really good. I wasn't very good, but I got the score and a couple of waves. Uh, wind is quite light, but feeling good. And if I do my best, then it's mine. Yeah, I've been here for almost a month now, so I know this place like the back of my hand. And yeah, I'm ready. My back fin came off because it was too stressed to just tie them. So then after all the other hits, I was going there and checking all these fins, saying, you don't do that anymore. <laughs> and so let's remind the scenarios out there. If Matthew loses his semi-final, James Carew is world champion. Yeah, well, the, the semi-final was, was the hardest hit, for sure. And then the leash broke, lost the kite, breaking boards. It was a mess. But I think he's a really strong person in the mind. Like, as we saw here, he can get out of the shit pretty fast. Stressful moments here. As his kite is down here, we can see him making his way in. There's a lot of time, but that is not the kind of stress you want at the beginning of the heat. As he has, looks like he's had to change kite, change board. He's missed a few first few moves, but let's not forget 15 minutes of action. It ain't how you start, it is how you finish. It's, it's a stressful environment for sure. It's, it's very easy to lose your focus, but I knew exactly what I needed to do. Um, there was no doubt in my mind that I could do it with a minute left. He just wants to absolutely rip and destroy these waves. Two turns and air, you know, finish strong. Already starting to engage. He's going to get another surf wave out there. Keeps pulling, yanking. Oh, and a nice air popping it out. The judges are going to be liking that one. He's going to be happy to get that one on his belt because at the moment he is playing catch up. There it is. 3 1 3. And I mean, the boom! James Carew landing the handle pass maneuver. But that means only one thing. We have a new Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour Kite Surf Discipline World Champion representing Australia, James Carew. The new World Champion, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. James, how are you feeling, mate? Right. Congratulations. Woo! To Tom World Champ, baby! We did it, mate. We fucking did it. I mean, James, that semi-final, I'm going to say, we saw you, I think you changed boards 25 times, changed kites, probably 50. How does it feel on top of the world? Yeah, it feels good, Joe. feels good, you know. Uh, a long time ago, I, I decided this was going to happen. And I trained my ass off to get good at freestyle, and here we are, you know. I'm two-time world champ, both years went to mix, so, yeah, can't say much more than that. But I know there's one thing in your head, and that's still, there's one more heat. Yeah, job's not done yet, I want to win this. I, wanna, I came here for the win, so. There it is, we have, uh, once again, that is two for the books. Second times, two times world champion, James Carew. Yeah, I wanted to win. I came here to win, and, and, and then, yeah, we moved into the final. I was already world champ was also quite stressful, you know, I couldn't land my 3 on 3 Because Pedro Matos turns like that, that was beautiful. And we know Pedro, when it comes to the surfing, is a man to be reckoned with. Turn for turn, move for move, Pedro is going to be stalling. Ah, oh, it was quite funny, you can see Pedro getting his kite low and trying to put it on top of James's head. But you know what, mind space, and he is not having any of it. James knows, he's just been told he's in second position. It is by a very small difference. Yeah, and there we can see Pedro trying to push, trying to get priority, playing the game. But James is not having anything of it, you can see. You want the pressure, you know, the, the, the pressure makes you better. It, it forces you to do something, you know, amazing. It's something you need to do, you know. I am a beast, I'm a pit bull off a leash. You can't compete, face a little buddy, you weak. Locked in all week, grind time, let's feast. I fold the up like a crease. I got him shook. That's not where you want to be. You need to move out of I, I never really watching people, you know, I hear people screaming and maybe they're claiming or whatever, but I don't really know what they've done. So yeah, it's just it's all about me in that moment for me. 
Will we see a more aggressive turn where the Finns get engaged? Yes, there it is. That's the turn. Ah, uh, he definitely did like that one. But James opening up this set wave is also going really well for him off the top. Two turns, linking it down. Three, non-stop, non-speed. Keeps going. Spin of the bar, it doesn't matter. They Both of these boys are throwing down air. Keeps it together, 360. And all the way to the entrance. And the difference out there, no claim from him. He's just going to wait for the scores. I, of course I want to go out there and I want to just destroy it, and, and, but it's, it's rewarding when you fight, you know, it's like you've got to be a little bit of a dog in that moment. Uh, this man front and center on the, this screen, James Storm Carew just bringing the heat. Pedro was playing this stupid games like they do, you know, but fuck, that's it. You play with the big dog, you get bit, got it done, game over, and yeah, two from two. Ah, oh, it was insane. Yeah, smoked him. It's over, you know. <laughs> Going home happy. Bags full. That's it. Two times world champ. Two in a row. Got to go for three now. <laughs> Next few months. Well, I mean, I left Australia three years ago saying I'm not going to come back until I'm world champ. So I'm going to enjoy that trip. I'm going home. Two time world champ, not just one. But yeah, I'm going to go home, see my family, enjoy them, enjoy Christmas. First stop in Portugal, get some massive waves, of course. But yeah, I just want to. I want to get really good conditions, you know. I want to. I want to push myself harder. So yeah, I just want to train, you know. I want to get better, and yeah, get better, score better conditions, and do more. Sweet, sweet. That's it. Sure, like if you see him riding, you feel like, oh wow, this guy is like, Rrr. it's like, yeah. And then outside the water, if you really meet him, it's like, for sure, he's one of us. I think what um, Francesco said is, is really funny because sometimes he does look like a puppy, you know, like a, a puppy, but then he can be like this big dog too, like he said, and like crush people. It's like a little dog. <laughs>